it seems to me like if you just buy into the sort of orthodox Marxist Leninist viewpoint, your political horizons are incredibly small. Like you're not, you can't get beyond it because there's a whole history of the political left, which includes anarchists, council communists, yeah. libertarian socialists who have argued for a different system yeah, okay. and, and, and have argued for, you know, and, and have done so in service of like, like, like if we think about CLR James, right? Like CLR James never, ever really rejected Marxism. Right. Nor did right. he ever. Nor did he ever really reject a, a more radical version of Leninism. But what he did reject was was obviously, I think, he rejected Stalinism, and he and he sort of began to embrace the sort of the politics of um, non hierarchy, yeah, critique against bureaucracy. I think. And I though, think. The, yeah. He didn't. I think the. I, maybe I mistook what I read, but I think he also didn't like. To the idea of being called an anarchist, like he didn't no, want, he didn't. want, he didn't want to be an anarchist, but he did not like hierarchy. He did not yeah. like bureaucracy. <laughs>